Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, Steve Bird here. Uh, thanks for checking out our little homestead here in the middle of nowhere one more time. Uh, this behind me is our solar shed. It's essentially our, our off-grid power distribution, storage, and collection and control center. Um, in here we've got our, our, our generator, our distribution panels, our batteries, and our Solark 12K, which is the heart of the system. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the Solark 12K, or a Solark in general, Solark is an all-in-one solar system, solar controller, inverter, it's the battery charge controller, uh, it's got all your fault protections, um, it uh, distributes power, it's got, it's got a lot of functions to it and we really like it. It is, however, a transformerless inverter and that makes it really efficient so it scores really high in the efficiency category however if you're living in a completely off-grid environment like we are you don't have a transformer out on the power pole to balance the two load legs of your 240 system uh, most of you probably already know all this but just in case you don't understand what I'm saying when I say load legs or load lines um, when you look in your breaker box in your house, you've got the two rows of breakers. Well, each, each side of that kind of represents load one and load two, two 120s of the 240 system. Uh, when you're on grid, the transformer that's on the pole balances everything out uh, so that you basically have equal distribution of power. However, with our solar arc being off grid, completely off grid, we're not connected to anything. Um, there's no transformer to balance those loads, so if you pull too hard off of an outlet that's on one side, or you're on too many things on one side, and say load two is running two air conditioners and then your air compressor kicks on and load one's got a television on, uh, that imbalance could trigger a fault in the solar and the solar trip itself offline to protect itself from what it sees as a potential problem. Well that's kind of inconvenient to have everything shut off now it it reboots you don't completely lose power the solar arc reboots so as long as you've turned off whatever that was that just pushed you over the edge everything continues to work fine but that's an inconvenience we didn't really want to have to deal with for the long term so i was talking to a friend scott scott hunt engineer 775 here on youtube um, and he referred me to a video from ben at ben's solar and battery and it was covering a solar edge auto inverter or auto transformer and he was adding that to his Solark 12k system for exactly the same reason to help balance the loads I watched that video liked what I saw and ordered one and uh, now today I'm gonna put it in and we're gonna see how that works for us so let's check out what's inside okay so stepping on inside our solar shed got our liquid cooled Kohler generator that does a fantastically quiet job of providing all the power we need. The first panel you see here is it's our generator distribution and or shutoff panel. So that takes the generator power in and it distributes it to two places. It can go into this box or it can go into the solar. If it goes into this box we can this box controls what powers the breaker box, the, our main kind of distribution panel. So in the up position, the Solark powers the breaker box. In the down position, the generator powers the breaker box. That would be in the event we need to take the Solark offline for some reason, but we still need power. Uh, and then obviously our distribution panel, which is just a standard household breaker box, our Solark 12K, and our Trojan batteries, and this is the guy we're going to be adding today. It's the Solar Edge C Auto TX 5000 Auto Transformer. And it's uh, pretty heavy. There's a lot going on in that little box. But we're going to mount that right here. I'm just going to move this wire, and in a minute I'll show you more about how that attaches, how we wire that into the uh, breaker box, and uh, what we hope it's going to do for us. And then we'll try it out. Stay tuned. Okay, we got it hooked up, and it's working. I'm currently running, just as a test, I'm running about uh, 3,500 watts and about 25 amps uh, all through one load, one leg of the, uh, of the breaker box, and it's, uh, it's balancing out. Normally, normally the Solark would have tripped offline with this load, but it's working just fine. So you can see inside, you've got basically what you'd expect to see is a transformer. And uh, you, you can hear the hum, you can hear the buzz. 
So there's our, our ground, our neutral, and our load one and two. And those are just going into a breaker in the breaker panel. So you got load one and two and, and the neutral and the ground. It's as simple as that, really. So then when the breaker panel pulls off the solar arc, it pulls a more balanced load. And like I said, I'm, I'm running about uh, 25 amps and 3,500 watts all off of one load. And uh, I can look on the solar arc and I can see that it's, it's splitting the load between the two legs. It's not, it's not balanced perf perfectly. It's still lopsided uh, a little bit to, to the load leg that we're actually using. But the point is it's doing its job. It's, it's keeping the system running and it's keeping it from uh, dropping offline and uh, causing us the problems that we had had. So uh, normally we'll be running a pretty balanced load anyway. Uh, but this, so running off of one load leg right now is, is just for uh, uh, illustrational purposes, but it's working. It's doing its job. So if you have a issue with uh, your solar tripping off of the unbalanced load, I highly recommend getting an auto transformer. And as you can see, the, there's a cover here. This, there's a weatherproof seal around around the transformer, and the cover's got uh, captured bolts, and that just goes right in place to make it sealed nice and tight. Overall, it was quick and easy, and I highly recommend it. Hey folks, so the project's done. It worked great. Like I said in the clip just a minute ago, um, we're running all kinds of things off of one load leg, and it's not tripping the solar arc off like it would have before. In an ideal world, your loads would be coming from, from both sides of the box, and it'd be somewhat balanced anyway. But uh, every now and then you're going to have some high draw item like an air compressor, a third air conditioning unit, other things like that kick on to put more of a load on one side than the other. Before we had issues with that with the solar, now we don't. It seems to be working great. This unit, uh, I'll tell you where I heard about this and where I got it. I was talking to a real life friend and YouTuber, Scott Hunt, Engineer775, that no doubt most of you have heard of. As he's the one that uh, has kind of helped me along the way with this DIY project and where I've got everything. He turned me on to a video made by Ben over at Ben Solar and Battery. So thanks Ben for putting the video together where uh, you talked about uh, this little unit. This was uh, roughly, I got it for right around $360. Got it from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. Uh, they had it shipped to me directly from the factory because they, they weren't in stock, but I got it in just a couple days. Uh, here's what it looks like all buttoned up. It's nice and clean, weatherproof box. Uh, it's a nice clean install. Um, and with the cover on it, you can't even hear the hum of the transformer. So it's for the money, it's, it's, it's a lot of bang for the buck. If you're off grid or if you're thinking about being off grid, there's a lot of little things to consider, like what I'm talking about here, but luckily there's some companies out there and there's some fellow YouTubers who are putting out the information and producing the products that uh, us do-it-yourselfers can use to uh, keep our systems working for us. And, uh, you know, the way it is now, I feel like I'll have grid power. Uh, this is all working great. And uh, thanks to those folks that have put the information out and are building, selling, and selling, and distributing, and informing us about the products that we can use to live off-grid with no wires and no monthly bill. So thanks a lot. I uh, hope you liked the video, and uh, stay tuned for more.